my friends, VLCD number 11. I am down 0.4 today. And I will take that after a goose and a game. 0.4 sounds good to me. So I uh, went to work today and tried to avoid all the stress at work and keep this smile on my face and just pretend like I'm just so happy. Uh, I had, oh, I didn't post anything today. I, <laughs> okay, let's start again. For lunch today, I had the leftover Thai coconut prawn soup that I made the other day. It's, it was still really good, but I think it was best the first and second day. Today, the third day, not, not as good. So, um, just not as fresh and vibrant. It, it was really good soup. I will make it again, and it's very easy to make with just items that are in your pantry and your freezer in just a few uh, items of produce. Um, I didn't have any fruit. I did quite a bit of cooking today for my client and I was making her Verde chicken enchiladas and in prepping the chicken I started eating the chicken. That was at about dinner time. I intended to have a salad I think I packed any protein for that salad, but I was going to have a salad for dinner and I didn't. I ended up having probably three or four chunks of chicken thigh and they were good. I, I didn't overeat and I didn't eat a full portion and I just decided that that was enough for dinner. So... I will probably have a chocolate delight when I go home and if I'm still feeling really hungry I might have a piece of fruit or something but for right now I feel pretty good and um, I didn't get a walk in today which is kind of a bummer I could go walk right now but I'm going to a store to make some purchases for my kids Easter baskets. I still stuff their Easter baskets because I think it's fun. It, we're, we're beyond stuffing with candy now and we do things like earrings and expensive flip-flops and cute little bralettes and stuff like that. There's a little tiny bit of candy but it's again it's high-end candy. Long long over the, the days of jelly beans and peeps are long gone so um what else I think I'll show you my Costco run from the other day all right here's my haul from last night at Costco this is just a mini haul things that I use on P2 so to start with this is for uh, my detox bath baking soda and Epsom salt I use it almost every night, at least every other night, and I mix equal parts in a hot tub of water, usually about three or four handfuls of each. Um, and I, there's other vlogs that I've made along with posts on Instagram that talk about detox baths. Uh, you should look into it. Um, tilapia which I need to portion out and freeze in baggies. And then my coffee. And then here's a new noodle that, new noodle, that sounds funny. Here's a noodle that I'm gonna try. I'll be the guinea pig on this and, and see what happens. I'm not gonna do it uh, quite yet because I've had a goose for the past two days. So I'm gonna wait and pick and choose my timing on that one. Um, but it looks like it's something that can be had in P2. Uh, Faye yogurt, zero uh, percent, and that's an extra large version. You can't get that in the grocery stores. And then my mac nuts. Again, mac nuts are very, very rogue, and I usually save them towards the end of my round. Um, I can eat a few a day without having any gains. 
and that has to do with the MCT properties in a macadamia nut um, as far as the oils are absorbed into the body. Uh, tuna. Now I have not been able to do tuna in every round, so most of this will probably go towards my family, but I am going to try it uh, once I have a succession of losses in a row. I'll, I'll go ahead and attempt to try it in this round, be very clean on the day I try it, and then um, clean meaning don't try anything else new and keep my day as pop as possible and then I will introduce tuna for one of my proteins for the day and see what happens the next day. Uh, two new seasonings I'm going to try so they're edgy as far or, you know they're not completely P2 friendly but they're pretty close and it's not the nutritional value, it's the ingredients that I'm concerned about. And so uh, you have soybean oil, which is a problem. Organic butter flavor, which I've never had before. And so we'll see how, how that one goes. And then this one's new. Also, I've never even tried it. I may not even like it. Um, again, nutritional values are fine. Sesame seeds can give people trouble. Ref unrefined sugar is definitely a problem, at least it's not first. Um, sugar, dextrose. Uh, and then natural flavor. You always have to worry about what natural flavor actually means. So I'm going to give those two a try again on a day where I haven't tried anything else new. Uh, spaghetti sauce. This isn't something that I have every week and this one isn't my favorite but it, it is a bit high in sugar and it will do in a pinch. Let's see, seven sugars? Yeah, seven sugars, 12 carbs. That's a bit much for me but um, it works if you aren't making your own. And if you are making your own sliced tomatoes, that's always something that's good to have in your pantry during P2 because of all the different things that you can make with it. Pico de gallo, um, chili, uh, spaghetti sauce, uh, let's see, ceviche. Those are things that I, I usually make every week or so. Uh, I just kind of splurged a little and got some lump crab. So I may try to do a crab cake recipe, or I may just have a crab salad with the HCG uh, mayonnaise I made the other night, and then I'll make like a Louis dressing and have that. That'll probably be a weekend uh, meal to have. And then I'm going to try these new steak strips from uh, Kirkland and see. The nutritional value is actually better. We did a taste test in my family this weekend of all the different jerkies out on the market and then did uh, a blind test to see which one we liked most and then looked at the nutritional value in each to find it you know the different things that were in it so this one has canola oil which is a problem uh, second ingredient brown sugar problem uh, peach puree concentrate so what's in that concentrate Cultured sugar. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice to have some culture in your life? <laughs> why, wouldn't, why don't they just say sugar? So let's look that one up to see what that means. Um, and then other than that, everything else is okay for the most part. I mean, it's a process for you. You get what you get. Uh, Skippy's not on P2. Sorry, that's for the family. This is the gum that I chew every round. I need gum. I hate the taste in my mouth when I'm on a round. Um, this one is my favorite, which is the, what is that, peppermint, cobalt. You can pretty much have one stick and chew it all day long. Uh, so over here, we have some Honeycrisp apples, and then raw shrimp with the tail on, organic blueberries, and then these are two more new things I'm going to try, Rogue. This one... I've made it uh, homemade, which it turns out really good for P2, but I thought it might be nice to see something that was packaged. Hold on, I'm trying to focus here. There we go. 
Um, I figured it would be good to try something. I'm looking over at all the crap that's in there that I can't even pronounce or don't know what the hell. Olerison, whatever. Um, anyway, nutritional value is okay. It's only three ounces. Um, it's a little high in calories. A little high in fat. But I'll take a look and uh, give it a shot. Those are the ingredients. And then this one, again, definitely rogue. Um, I've made it homemade for P2, but never tried it in a process situation. And again, same thing as the, the other one. This is what happens when you get processed food. A little bit too high in calorie. The serving, of course, is a little bit higher. Um, a little bit too high in fat and five sugars and eight carbs. So you kind of got to play that game. Is it worth it? And then let's look at ingredients. Hello, focus, come on. I got low light going in my kitchen. There we go, got some focus going. Okay, coconut milk, that probably freaks a lot of people out. Oh, look, brown sugar. And then natural flavor. What's in that natural flavor? We don't know. Rice starch. Starches aren't good on P2. And sugar. So, you know, everything here pretty much is rogue other than crab, tomatoes, blueberries, shrimp, apple, tilapia, coffee. And then, of course, this doesn't count because you're not ingesting it. But So that's my haul. Okay, I'm just going to cut that off right here since I've rattled and circled myself ten times. Enough is enough. I hope everybody has a wonderful evening, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning with a release, for God's sakes. <laughs> All right, take care. Ciao.